I can like pinpoint the flavors here. I don't even know how you do that. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny Miami, Florida, my hometown. You guys know I'm a big coffee guy. I love coffee. Coffee over tea every single day. Anywhere I am around the world, I need to start my day off with a cup of coffee. And today we're here at Perla Specialty Roasters. This place is awesome. It's a local coffee company, and they make award-winning single origin coffee. They have 21 different types of coffee beans from Ethiopia to Colombia to Rwanda. They got so many unique, delicious coffees. I cannot wait to explore this place. So we're gonna go into the facility. We're gonna meet with the owners, Paul and Chris. They're gonna show me their coffees. We're gonna roast some, and we're gonna try some delicious coffee. I'm so thrilled that the U.S. is finally opening back up. But even though things are getting better, it's important that as many people as possible get vaccinated. If not, the virus will keep circulating and mutating. And eventually, we can get a variation that isn't stopped by the vaccines. They're safe and extremely effective, so please be safe, be smart, and get your shot. Let's go inside and let's meet with the owners. Welcome. Yo. <laughs> Welcome to Perla. How you doing? Very good. You? Awesome. Awesome. Come on in. Come on in. This is our, our roasting facility. So we're going to taste some coffees. We're going to see a roast. We're going to just get a nice sensory uh, experience of the coffee uh, from green coffee to roasted coffee. And then we're going to brew some coffee and taste those as well. What's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? Everything good? Yeah. Paul. Pleasure. David. Robert. Pleasure. First, we're going to roast some coffee, but I'll tell you about the coffees that we have here. We have coffees from all over Central South America, Eastern Africa, and some Indonesian coffees. Everything we purchase is specialty grade. Uh, currently, most of our portfolio comes to farmers that we know personally, so direct trade partnerships. Um, but yeah, so this is green coffee here. That's what it looks like when we get it. So if you guys don't know about coffee, it comes like this. This is just, it comes from the farm, right? Yep. Then it has to get roasted. Exactly. And then you can drink. Yeah. Exactly. You can't, before that, no way. No. no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roast this one now? Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're sucking it up into the roaster right now. Uh, I used to do this with my turbo tank. Get the hose. <laughs> <laughs> Once we have the profile in the roaster, we're gonna see the coffee come into the roasting chamber. So this roast is gonna take 13 minutes. Um, it's gonna go through a bunch of chemical reactions. After about four minutes, it'll turn yellow, and then it'll turn orange, and then it starts to caramelize, and will then turn brown. And the machine they're using, the Loring, is like the Ferrari of roasters. It's all you know, set, right? He just presses a button, and that's it. It roasts. So what we're gonna do now is the, uh, it's called a coffee cupping. So most people only have one type of coffee at a time. Uh, this gives us the ability to experience uh, each different coffee. So what we have here on the table is one blend and five single origins. And we're going to taste them both hot uh, right after they're brewed. And then we're going to let them cool down and taste them uh, right at, at room temperature. So it's going to give us a nice experience. And we're going to be able to really tell the difference between different single origins and also the blend as well. Uh, and this is actually how we assess coffee at origin to make sure that we're sourcing the highest quality coffee that we can. Okay. Can you guys tell the difference like easily? I, mean, I can, yeah. I have no idea. I would never be able to tell what are, like which bean is what, you know? But. So now I'm gonna add some water to them. So we have 10 grams of coffee in each cup. We're gonna add five ounces of two degree water to it. So they're all brewed exactly the same. Same amount of weight, same amount of water, four minutes, ready. So the roasting process is very quick, 14 minutes. It just came out, now it's cooling. It came out at 400 degrees, now you can touch it. That's how fast it cools, but it's still hot, a little hot. And this is, uh, so Guatemalan beans, right? So once this is done, they're gonna package it and send it out. So we're actually gonna taste the coffee now. So what we do is we take a small sample, and the way that I taste it is I spray it over my palate, so I slurp it, so it gets all over my tongue and also into my nasal passage. We just rinse our spoon off and then go to the next one. Just grab a spoon, yep. go in, so how much? Just like, yeah, just like that, yeah. just like that and go. Mm -hmm. I did it horribly. <laughs> 
Just don't, uh, the only thing you, you don't want to do is go to the bottom because that's where the grounds are. So as okay. long as you take it off the top, it's perfect. So off the top? Yeah. Okay, wow, big difference right here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I can, uh, if I can like pinpoint the flavors here. I don't even know how you do that. Okay, so just <laughs> that was weak, man. That was weak. Mm. So far, this is my favorite. Yeah. Don't know what that is, but. This is a little more bitter, right? Oy. That was not good. Uh, this is the best, right here. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Coffee here is our dark roast blend. So it's a blend of coffees from Brazil, Colombia, and Sumatra. Again, all roasted separately and then blended together afterwards. This is probably one of our best selling coffees because we fit it hits like 95% of what people are looking for. Then the second one is a coffee from Brazil. Then we have a coffee from Guatemala. Then the fourth one is from Colombia. Fifth one is from Sumatra, Indonesia. And then this one is an Ethiopian natural. This was a good food award finalist. One of the top 12 coffees in the US for last year. Espresso Fino Blend, Brazil, Guatemala, Sumatra, correct? Smells incredible. Oh wow, it's nice, a little bitter, but it's perfect. I mean, if I can drink it with no sugar, that's good. And then right here we have the same thing? Yeah, same thing, just with milk. Same thing with milk, so basically a latte, right? 70% milk. 30% espresso. Oh, incredible, creamy. Obviously the milk, right? So right now what he's doing is he's filling up each bag with five pounds of coffee beans. This is what's shipped out to the distributor and then eventually hotels and other coffee shops. So this is the bag, five pounds, wow, it weighs, huh? Sorry, my arm's a little weak right now. And over here, this is where you ship, right? And espresso fino is my favorite, right? Yep, yep. Okay, that's the mix. That's the blend of Brazil, Guatemala, and Sumatra. So I've had a lot of coffee today. I'm electric, but I still have to try their cold brew. You have it in the back there, right? Yep. Let's try it. Go. Oh man. So what is this one? The great thing about cold brewing uh, coffee is that we take Brazilian and, and Guatemalan beans and then we, uh, we grind them very coarsely and then we roast, or excuse me, that we brew on 16 hours. We only use uh, room temperature water and what that does is, is that extracts a higher caffeine content, a lower acidity and it makes a really balanced, delicious drink. All right, cold brew. Cheers, Let's enjoy. Oh yeah. This is my style. Delicious. Especially in Miami with the heat. For sure. It's yeah, perfect. summertime, it's uh, yeah, definitely my drink of choice every morning. So. And it's double the intensity in terms of caffeine. Yep, so. yep. Lower double. acidity, double the caffeine content. So wow. uh, yeah, yeah, packs a punch. It's very subtle, but you feel it later. You know? So if you guys want, you can also go to their shop. It's Ponce de Leon and Almera, yeah. right? Almera. Coral Gables, there you can buy coffee. You can also buy this as well, yeah. right? Yeah, we're on our website, drinkperla.com. We have uh, all of our blends on there as well. So if you brew, brew your cold brew at home, it's, it's very easy to do. If you do it at home, but if you're like me, you have to come here. Of course. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Thanks cheers. for coming. No, no problem. Oh, it's so much easier to drink this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it goes down. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Just try the... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Thank no, you it's for just, visiting it's, it's, Perla. A, yeah, yeah. it's a quick thing. Don't worry. Don't worry. And that's it, my friends. Perla Specialty Roasters right here in Miami. If you're ever in Miami or if you want to try Perla coffee, definitely look them up online. You can order right now or you can go there in Coral Gables and try delicious cup of unique coffees. 21 different types of coffee beans. Incredible. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere around the world. Let's go.